Hello everyone, we are now going to look at Form 5 Additional Maths, Chapter 2, Linear Law. So the first part, we want to learn how to reduce nonlinear functions to linear functions. So nonlinear functions are functions like, for example, this a curve. So if you have a relation which is y equals to ax squared plus b, it's very hard for us to determine the value of a and b. So what we can do is we try to reduce the nonlinear functions to linear functions which has the form of y equals to mx plus c which is always a straight line so the problem is how okay so if we rewrite this you see y equals to ax squared plus b and we compare to this equation of a straight line we'll find that if y is the y axis and x squared is the x axis then the value of a will be the value of the gradient and the value of b will be the y-intercept. So from this graph here, from the values of y and x, we can plot the graph again by using this, which is we plot y against x squared. So if we plot again, we plot y against x squared as the x axis, you're supposed to get a straight line based on this function. So from this function, which is like this, from this function, we find the gradient, which is the value of A. And we find the y-intercept, which will help us to get the value of B. If we are given a straight line with the x, uh, y-axis, let's say, is the square root of y, and the x-axis, let's say, is the, square, uh, is the 1 over x, we can find the relationship between y and x by first finding the gradient from here, we find the gradient and then we find the y-intercept. We, we can relate the y-axis and x-axis using the y equals mx plus c function because this is a straight line. So y-axis is square root of y, m is the gradient m here, x is 1 over x, and c here is the y-intercept. Now let's look at question 1. Given a graph of xy against x squared, write the nonlinear equation connecting y and x. So since this is a straight line, so this straight line can be represented by the equation y equals to mx plus c, where y is the y-axis, x is the x-axis, m is the gradient of the graph, and c is the y-intercept. So first we find the gradient. So gradient equals to, uh, using the formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So we can pick any point here. Let's say we take this as point 1, so this becomes a x1, y1, this becomes x2, y2. So we substitute in the values, you get 6 minus 2 over 11 minus 1. So we get the value of m. Now we try to find the value of uh, we try to find the value of c. C is y in the set. It's not given here. So we can take the values from the points, any of the points here, to substitute inside this equation. For example, let's say we pick this point. This one will be the value of x. Okay. Y uh, two will be the value of y. And then, remember, m is, from here, it's 2 over 5. So from here, we can find the value of c. So 2 equals to 2. 8 over 5. And we substitute in the value of c. So y, so again, we substitute everything inside the straight line equation. y is y exists, x, y, m, 2 over 5 x is x axis, x, x squared, plus c. c will be 8 over 5. So this is the nonlinear equation connecting y and x. Question number 2. Express y in terms of x of the nonlinear graphs below. So now, since this is a straight line again, so we know that this graph, we can use, we can represent this graph with the straight line equation y equals to mx plus c. 
Then we can find the value of m and c from this value. So we try to find the m. In order to find the m, we use the formula. So we get negative 1. So now we have already have the value of m. We try to find the value of c by substituting the values inside. So let's say we take this point. So the x value is 1. x value is 1. The y value here is 5. m will be negative 1. Plus c, so f y is the y uh, exists, so you have 1 over y equals to m, which is negative 1. x is 1 over x plus c is 6. So 1 over y equals to negative 1 over x plus 6. But the question want us to express y in terms of x means y is the subject. So y is the subject. We need to rearrange all these uh, the terms here. Question number three, express y in terms of x. So now we have log base 10 y against log base 10 x. And again, we have this value. So again, the first thing we do is we try to find the gradient. So m equals to, this is actually 0, 6. So And for this time, y intercept is given, which is 6 of c equals to 6. And we substitute all the values, y intercept and uh, y axis and x axis into the straight line equation. You get this. So this is log base 10y equals to negative 2 log base 10x plus 6. So you get this. So in order to get rid of this uh, log base 10, first you get this. This is using the power rule. Power rule, you can bring this to this. You get log base 10 x negative 2. And 6 is actually log 10, 10 to the power of 6. So it becomes... So using the product rule, this becomes log x times 10 power of 6. So by comparison, y equals to 10 to the power of 6, x negative 2. Okay, now it's question 4. Given the graph of y over x against x, if the relationship between y and x is represented by y equals to ax squared plus bx, find the value of a and b. You see, y equals to ax squared plus bx is a nonlinear function. If we plot y against x, we should not get a straight line. But since this is a given straight line, and the y axis is given like this, we can first reduce the nonlinear function to a linear function. So how are we going to reduce this? You see, actually this y this uh, y axis is the clue. So we use y divide by x. So we try to divide by x for the whole equation. Divide x, you get y over x. This one divided by x, you get ax. This one divided by x, you cancel off, you get this. And then we compare this to y equals to mx plus c. If we plot y over x, which is y axis, against x, which is the x axis, we should get a straight line, which is shown here. Meaning that if we can find the gradient of this straight line, we get the value of a. If we can find the y-intercept of this straight line, we get the value of b. So, the gradient from here, this is actually 0, 10. So the gradient, we take y minus y over x. 2. 
Then C here is given, the y intercept is 10, so C equals to 10. So when we compare this equation to this equation, A is equals to M, which is equals to negative 2, and B is equals to y intercept, which is equals to the value of 10. This is the final question. Given two variables, x and y, are related by the equation y equals to 10 to the power of x plus k, where k is a constant. The diagram here shows a straight line obtained by plotting a graph of log, 10, log base 10y against x. Find the value of k and m. Since this is a nonlinear function, and we have a straight line here, so we can reduce this to a linear function. So we write here y equals to 10 to the power of x plus k. Whenever the x or y is involved in a power, you keep in mind that we need to use log logarithm to help us. So given here is the clue log the base 10 of y. So we try to find the log base 10 of y. So when we lock the, here, this side, we need to lock both sides. X plus K. Using the product, uh, the power rule, we can bring this to the front. You get Y equals to X plus K multiplies with log 10, 10. Log 10, 10 is actually equals to 1. So log, 10, log base 10 Y equals to X plus K. So if we compare this to the straight line equation, y equals to mx plus c, if we plot y exists as a log base 10y, and x exists as x, you get a straight line with a gradient m and a y-intercept c. So the gradient here has a value of 1 if we compare, and the y-intercept has a value of k. So we try to find this first. So the gradient, this gradient, equals to 1. So how we, can we find the gradient? By using the formula, this. Okay, so this m is the constant. It's not this gradient, it's a different m. So if we want to find the gradient here, we take y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Sorry, this is a 2. According to this, in order to find the value of k, we just need to substitute any value of y or x. So we just pick this point because to get the value of x and y. So from here, so if we rewrite this equation, log base 10 y equals to x plus k. If we take this point, yeah, this point 2, 4. So actually the 2 here is the value of x and the 4 here, 4 here is the value of log base 10 y log base 10 y so this has a value of 4 and the x has a value of 2 so k equals to 4 minus 2 which is 2 so that's it thank you for watching